All right, let's get to um, the last project one review. Um, I think we talked about this enough in class. I don't really have to remind you, but I won't be you know, grading these things in terms of content until the um, the last day of class. So if you're wondering, like, what's my grade? Well, one factor in when you turn it in, that would be you know, majority sixty five percent. Um, if I'm telling you about a lot of stuff, it's in the C range. Probably the D range if I get irritated. Missing one or two things in the B. If I have nothing to say, it's an A. So just most are hover in that high B range. Optimistically, less C. Alright, Jan, looking at spreads again. I want the basic information. How many weeks did you work with anybody? Um, simple I, mean, I don't want to call it like a, a statement but a very short little blurb about just context of project I know you're going to go over the design brief but just give me an idea what I'm looking at it's brand new, don't know so basic info there maybe instead of this being well Maybe the word challenge is also left aligned right here as well. Also, the spacing of your quotation marks. All right, so in terms of hierarchy, that one, that one, and that one looks to be the most important. And let me check these other guys real fast in terms of what you're doing with. All right, I was looking for consistency with how you're putting text in the margin. Uh, this is, for my screen, too small to see. But then I'm not at full screen, so maybe that works. Just, you know, be conscious, be careful. Between affordable and medium premium classifications. So now that you know how to do the P, not the PA map, but the market analysis map, what are things line? Then where's your opportunity? Two. This is a way to do it. But where is your your opportunity? Premium. It's segmented between affordable and premium. Maybe there's a lot of affordable. Maybe there's not so many premium. Why did you decide to go in the premium? Is kind of what I'm wondering now. Sketches. I think I talked about this one. Um, the amount of sketches is good. Appreciate the change here. Uh, check your size. That might be too small to show. If it is too small to show, consider like adding another page. Another page really doesn't hurt. I mean, especially I feel like this is a short project. Do you enjoy the call outs? Might show just one color render here. So, super simple, still simple, most complicated. Things of use. Is it one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five. That's another thing that could help me. Also, I'm a little confused because I'm looking top down, right? Always looking top down. Contents, no contents. Is that right? Also, end up with themes back in content. Somebody enjoying their coffee. Looking sophisticated. You know, the overall goal. Why you did it in the first place, not just to make the dang thing. All right, man, this project. Um, I'm not quite an orphan, but I would consider maybe drop in A or the word design to the next line. Having this read more of a block of text instead of a kind of an L shape or a Tetris piece. 
Yeah, not knowing what that is. Um, the only suggestion I would have is this can't be your final solution because it looks kind of ugly. And if you never progress past here, then you know what's the point? Yes, the intro. All right, I'm seeing this like background. Could you Photoshop? You can still put it on a background of that size, that ratio, but Photoshop, so this is the only thing that I'm seeing. Also bring up the levels a little bit, maybe the curves, because I'm losing a lot of detail. Um, your text size feels a bit big. I don't, I don't know what size it is, but check it, let me knock it down a bit. Um, how can we get this to work? I just don't like seeing this X. I mean, my eyes are drawn to the air a detail. So how do we fix that guy? Okay. Um, what about taking 45 degree angles? So like that one's straight. Maybe it has a little dot at the end or an arrow. This one... Let's see, 45 then down, and this one can come down 45 and then over, just because the overlap is a bit annoying. Then this cat, let's do Georgia Tech plus Auburn, make sure the line weights are the same between of them because neither one is more important than the other one, in theory, in this situation. Uh, also, unorganized housing. Yeah, but what are you trying to tell me? Um, that it's a super complicated system that needs simplifying? Maybe. I would do the same thing to this image. Make me focus on this. The rest not so important, so we'll have it. How does it work? It's not so much just the user. It's the user plus the device, and then it does this map. Additionally, you see it, it, that's not going to happen. If these sound waves are radiating out, it's going to make like a shadow of that direction. A shadow that direction, so just basic perspective theory, right? Also, this is a little bit vague. Volume proximity. Okay, this is this is good. I like this. Right, different tone associated with each center. Good. Man, a video would be really nice with this one. Like, how does this cat work? This is like it's like echolocation, but you're making me guess. Everybody understands in theory how echolocation works. Maybe it's a good thing to drop in somewhere. And the, instead of like the word obstacle, could you give me um, you know everyday object? So coffee table, bookshelf you know, might make it a bit more tangible. And in addition, back to here, have a human. Then show the vice. Are these exclusive things? If you have no light perception, you get a service dog. If you can perceive light, you get a cane. We get, yeah. yeah. Um, those are possibilities. Give me a second. All right, back. Cool, we still good? All right, great. Um, so I see the page. You're telling me a, a good piece of research, but I'm a asking the question, so what? Are these alternatives? So no service dog, no walking canes, you can do these things? Um, then in theory, if these are solutions, shouldn't they have a slice of the pie? And when they do have a slice of the pie, like what's your goal? Like you gave me this technology. You tell me how it works. It's like echolocation. Um, you show that a, a, a portion of people use it. Is this an additional or is it an expansion on a current solution that could be expanded? I told you I felt the sketch page. 
without telling me the so what, like you're given this piece of equipment. What are you doing with it other than adding a new body to it? And if you are adding a new body to it, what, why? All right. So you're attaching this to different parts of the body, different groups attached to different parts of the body. Um, are you changing how it works? I doubt you're changing how it works. It's still plugged up into your headset so you can hear the different things. Um, it appears you're giving them the option of wearing your different parts of the body. Why? Right? It's almost like you're, it's like a fanny pack thing going on here. You can wear different parts of your body. It's like a fashion statement. You tell me a lot of the same things, right? I told you in the beginning, it's, it's kind of ugly. I wouldn't show it there. I might show somebody, you know, having mm -hmm. difficulty getting around, someone using a, a cane, someone using a service dog. And then tell me like there are more options that increase the independence of the person using the product. Here, and what, what you and your team got together and you 3D printed something. Cool. I saw this at the beginning. Wasn't impressed. Still not impressed. Um You can render cool. You're showing how it clips. We gotta redo these two. Or the nice thing is you got the model. You can superimpose on anybody, but just Ryan. Like I do like Ryan, handsome young man. Problem is this doesn't really show me how it doesn't solve anybody's problem. You're given a house. I mean, <laughs> the problem is you're doing the assignment and not really solving a problem. You gave a new housing. You're putting it on different parts of the body. Why are you putting it on different parts of the body? To get more independence. Does it matter? Is there an ideal spot or not? So just missing some things. All right, with someone things on garments, consider moving these a little bit to the right. I feel like I talked about this earlier. Tom Buckby should be a little bit bigger. Um, scale it out to here. Compress those down so it makes a box for Tom. Tom Beckby is primary and other information secondary. Good advice on this one. Just print this page out like it's going to be printed out, right? So if you're doing 11 by 17 um, or 16 by 9, print it out 11 by 17. I worry that that's going to be a bit big. You can go more tactful, scale it down, still have legibility, but it feels more designery. It does help that the things are bolted, but still feels a bit big. Okay. I do like a there for us. And you see a there for X where X, what it's there for. I'm having a little bit difficulty reading this information though. Especially like when it gets around here. Maybe knock these garments a little bit further back. Easy garment was posterized with one color in order to show off features and not distract from and not distract from defining callouts. What about get rid of that and heighten the appreciation for each garment? Suggestion. I still can't turn off the desire in me. Every time I see these, these little leaders feel like they're done crazily instead of methodically. I like to see it fixed. This is the same page. There's not really any development on it either. It's, it's fine if you didn't do development, but I wouldn't be like, hey, these are the final tag callouts because the first ones and the second ones, are the callouts. Because in my assumption, these guys are different from these. 
Sorry, they're no different. Actually, I think this one like heightens the fact that I'm looking at the garment and then the information secondary. I hear you talking, Ben, I'm not going back and changing this. Well, then we gotta explain why that's good. And let's just don't do development on this one. Don't call these files. Um, what I'm interested in, instead of saying here, like it's good to communicate benefits, but it's uh, a garment is more than functional. It's aesthetic, it's expressive. So we needed one more element, boom, you get the guarantee. Okay, close. Same thing. I think maybe could your size a little bit, still retain legibility and it feels more designery. Do it, kind of do it. Hmm. Looks good, considering I really don't know how these work. Most of them are like, don't put your final, but we'll let it ride because I'm looking at them like, I don't, I don't know what that is. What happened here? Does my computer not like your project? All right, be careful with your page to buy. Oh, excuse me. Be careful with your page to buy. All right, so what's the problem? Negative two percent isn't that much of a problem. One hundred thirty-four thousand vacancies feels like more of a problem. Negative two percent nationally, where it results in something less homes built, something like that. Maybe you can skip that. I agree. That's a really good point. I don't read the entire thing. Our companies are desperate for new talent. So what's the problem in getting new talent? Site visits. At some point, you get to the topic of conduit. This is like an overview um, opportunity finding, um, opportunity identified insight. Can't see. Right, and that's one of the problems of, it feels like you identify, hey, I'm gonna work on the, the conduit bender. Then you come down here and you're not doing the conduit bender. So you, you either gotta keep it open, like, hey, here's two ideas I can go with until I narrow it down later, or if you narrow it down, you gotta narrow it down here. Call up. Just give me some information on it. This feels weird. And just because you haven't done it before, and <laughs> like yellow you know, post-it note. What's happening? Right. I'm not going to read that until my second time running through. I'd rather say I learned through my rough prototype that I needed blank. Yeah, you get feedback on what's the feedback is what I'm curious about. Three model, cool. Signature images, cool, need it. Okay, so what I want you to emphasize at the very end is the thing you kind of set up earlier. Does it decrease learning curve? Is it more intuitive? I would argue maybe they're the same thing, but I'll leave it alone right now. And is it easier on the body? If it achieves those goals, then you've successed. <laughs> then you've succeeded. But 
meditator. Cool. But why are you showing me this? Mm, you're assuming that I still know things about the project. I don't. So you need this is an image. Yes, you're using text, but I like the, an image. And then tell me why I'm looking at these things. Um, also, at some point, divining, because we all have different ideas what delicate means. And you're helping us understand the word of the meaning delicate through synonyms. But it's rare, but in this case, I do want definitions. So another page. Image for floral, image for balance, image for graceful. Do not show ballerina. Do not show rocks. Do not show flowers. Um, I'm like mood, mini mood board, mood board, mood board. This is what I mean when I say floral. Brief sentence. And then you can expand it into a larger mood board. Color palette. Okay, let's try the idea. I think this is a better approach. I more easily understand what you're showing. Instead of putting that flat against the background, um, hopefully this is not dishonest, but wait, ah, you kind of show me the same thing twice. Do you have these images, right? Do you have more? And can you tell them to make them look like they're more than they actually are? So this is my dishonest thing I was going to do. I was going to take this row, shift it over left so this one comes on the very right, remove the word dancer, um, and then place them right here. I would like this background image in perspective or just at an angle. That way it feels like it's separated by both of me being planar or top view. Um, I kind of blend together. If I just look at the background, oh dang. She did lots of sketches. I give her credit. Now I'm starting to hunt back there because they felt like they're the same surface. So, suggestion. Okay, prototyping is good. What did you learn through your prototyping? Right here, white text. Second round of prototyping. What did you learn? How is it better? Kind of his, I'm hesitant to go like, hey, third round of prototyping. Um, little cheat way to do it. Take this, mirror it, scale it down, change the color. What's another good color for this? Maybe in that tone. And then gray it out a little bit. The reason why it feels very stark. And there's a lot of like uh, just horizontal space. So maybe one of the background element. That could be your secondary. Just give it a look, right? Just, I, I feel like there's too much open space. I do like white space, but coming after another white space, maybe this one needs a little bit more work. Or you can make a statement here and more like, hey, maybe handwritten script. That way it's different than your typing. Cool. All right. So think back to the beginning of class. I showed you all those images at the beginning or at the very end of the project, like the GoPro. We don't buy these things because we need the physical object. We buy the object because we need the function and we want it to say something about ourselves. So what are you trying to communicate about when you buy this thing? What are you saying about yourself? You like being organized. You like um, beautiful things. You're a curator of good taste. I mean, even you're starting to communicate that over here. But remind us. Uh, I don't know where. Scratch marks. Pro con. Do we gotta say the word background? Maybe I'm being over picky. But I mean this is what I'm hunting for. 
That many people, visual impairment. Also, like, one in 100 people have visual impairment, and then you give me smaller details. But just backgrounds, like, it's too much visual importance to tell me absolutely nothing. Okay, good page. I want to do that. I feel like these changed. Muscle man is still needs some work. The faces don't bother me. The eyes follow me. Ugh. These okay. That okay. Got something wrong with his arm. I won't keep on making fun of these until they get fixed. So there's that. I'm good with this. This I struggle with a little bit. And there's no like really direction, like all have the same priority. This is all priority one. Is that what you're intending to do? Like, the reason why I'm against that is this is what you did. I see that this is what you did. So what? Is it all about being discreet? Let me pause and think about this for a second. Okay, here we go. Let's move this up to the top left because this tells me what the device does and up to that point, I really don't know. And then bottom right, By placing these things on the body, the user is now able to explore the world with these by dis by um, captivating the software and hardware within a wearable system. I empower the user through. Give me some of that. I narrowed the concept, um, or I realized that attaching it to the chest or neck allows me to have blank furthermore a neckline device is unobtrusive and inconspicuous or conspicuous check that for me please okay cool Previously, this made no sense, but now you're working on proportions, working on comfort, continuity, and massing. Thank you. Good page. Only thing I'm really stuck wondering is how this cat works. I don't mind so much that you didn't introduce the te technology. Like you're talking about the human factors of things. I think if, I mean, let's look at the highlights real fast. All this has been, in my opinion, um, functional yet inconspicuous. You wear it, but it's not really about you wearing it. And then when you your highlights, you forgot about the kind of human aspect of it. I mean, that's what it does, but emotionally, it allows you to be more informed, more, I don't want to say normal, but I'm going to say it, more normal. Less details. So I'm, I'm tempted to throw a how it works, then highlights, then details, then that.
Okay, same thing. I'm coming back. Is you have these green elements, especially here. Maintain those. Is it possible to give me a punch of that uh, that green? A punch of the green. It just helps me relate the things to, together a bit better. That plus. It sounds stupid, but you got to find one that works in the middle. Maybe it's a gray outlined one because the plus goes, hey, this is more of a Georgia Tech problem than it's an Auburn. If you go orange, it's more of an Auburn than Georgia Tech. I know it's subtle, but then again, we communicate subtly. There's, there's that. Why they need us. Uh, kind of weird way to say that. Like, that gives you a position of power to say why they need us. Why we worked together. Sounds a bit more diplomatic. Highlighting too much stuff. I have walk it while I walk it while I talk it. Walk it while I talk it. Okay, got it. If it is anchor location, right? It should bounce off, then come back. It looks like you just magically it hits these people and comes back. So, also there's a way to make those little echolocation things more apparent because it's barely visible. All right, if you're gonna do research, you gotta give me a so what? What did you learn from these things? Nothing. Right, because you go from, hey, we looked at the market, we looked at research. What did you pull from it? What are some of your major goals that current technology does that your device will do? The things you go straight to human factors where it fits. I'd rather you put neckline here in between, then talk about aesthetics, and then integrate both of them where it fits and what it looks like. Looking for ugly humans. Maybe that's a resketch. That doesn't bother me so much. Also, they look very great. The ones that are chosen, they should be more black. I know this is a project. I'm really sure you have to tell me what I'm curious. Or what, what did you learn um, through the communication, general massing, correct curvature of front piece and connectivity between location of internal components were addressed. Um, I think I want you to break this and say it in, over time. I don't, really, I don't care a lick whether you made it from cardboard or blue foam or hopes and dreams or Georgia, Alabama red clay. What did you learn through the prototyping? We learned that we needed more housing area. We learned that we needed um, more form factor, more comfort, that need to integrate better with the, the human form, something. What did you learn through the prototyping? Oh my gosh, I do not care which program or you rendered. Anybody can hit a render button. This is the most interesting thing to me. And like that's, in my opinion, that's not enough. All right. You can talk about the details. You can talk about the benefits. Um, you can talk about like the human factors, adjustability, modularity. But what is what do these do? Especially these. What do these do that that doesn't? Shows it together. Well, you're fixing to show it together. So there's no reason for these. Uh, additionally. I kind of know it's going to go around the neck piece. You don't have to spoil that surprise yet. So maybe on the, one of these next pages, you show it around the neck. Okay, so exploded view, engineering approach. Then talk about the details, the subtle things you designed in here, the touch points. There, I know, I know it is. Also, this cord should be smooth, right? It should look like it's um, casual, which in this case is going to be super easy. Photoshop 
the chord out. Go in Illustrator. Because all this is is a black line, make another black line. So use a um, Bezier curve, a spline curve. Make it smooth. Add your little rectangle there. Connect it back. Guarantee the page will look better. Page is too full. Do two pages. Black on black. Black shirt, black device, small little thing. You gotta bring more focus to that. And if he's wearing this, does he need a cane? I like where you're going with it, right? Uh, but instead of saying it with um, text, make the image really big and then remind me in small text. This gives you these um, benefits. Two pages, fix the line, move some information around. Samantha, last time I want to say this. Every time I take a, a sip of tea, I feel like Kermit the Frog, like it's not any of my business. But pixelation tells me you don't care. If I see this in a final, I will, you know I'm going with this. I will not be happy. Weird space between here. And it's also difficult to read. Um, by putting it over a color, you're decreasing the contrast that you get over white. So either the pink has to be lighter, make it more white, or the text needs to be darker. Also, see how you're kind of breaking your column up by stopping it here? Go all the way to the edge. This page is a cluster. It's just really bad. I gotta stop and think. Alright, Ben Bush back. Alright, we're talking about her helping her with um, her job is to help parents with notoriety, fame, and money to be normal and raise children. If we're talking about uh, um, stars and children, that's the one I really care about. Don't care, don't care, because they don't apply to her. If they have kids, yes, they apply to her. Right now, there's pictures of famous people, beautiful famous people, great for them, genetically blessed. All right, so what I want to do, big picture Nanny Connie, smaller picture, throw it over here. Give me a bit context. Um, it's basically a com combination of these two things. Try not to bold as much. Give me to exactly. I don't really care if she's done it for over 30 years, but she's a trusted name in big stars and how they handle their kids, how they raise their kids. This is cool. Bring it. Put it up here. And then expand what it's said here, right? I'm just trying to find your columns. Expand it to the edges. Okay, two things, right? My eye goes, oh, there's a line break. Okay, so what's up with this little horizontal line? What's up with this man's face? It's almost like it's extra wide. I ain't gonna, I ain't saying you gotta go back and do the entire thing. Either kind of fade it out so it doesn't bother me, but it feels like his face is too wide. Which, if I'm stuck here, we're in a problem because it's not about his, this man's face. And you went to like the solution really fast too, which I guess I'm okay with. I want to talk about that you notice the opportunity in the market that very few bags to no bags allow you to access the pockets without taking them off. No high volume bags allow you access um, to contents without removing it, which can be difficult if you're maintaining a kid. I don't read any of your fonts. I read or. Also... It's subtle, but it could help. One, two, three, four, five. Also, try to keep the like a midline going. You see how this one kind of drops low, middle, middle, middle drop. Keep them on the same line. Let's see if you've done this before. No. 
should that pink come on the outside here. Also, what's the difference between this and this? We learned from our prototype that blank needed to be improved. That's all I really care about. Not a bad page. Only downside is like these lists. I see that first because it's just so weird. You know, at this point, I. I I don't know what a change me side is. You haven't explained the concept well enough. Feed me side, play me side. This is all new information. So when you throw it in here, I'm like, what? And you're talking about three bags. Are these three bags mounted into one? Should you tell me what they are? Are they interchangeable? I don't know. Functional, yes. Stable, kind of a weird word. Organized, sure. You're missing some information on getting me to understand and appreciate your concept. Okay, I respect that. Okay. Just reading it, it's it's like me, me, me. Hey, let's talk about other people. They have a story. They have a goal. They want to stand out. It could be positive or it could be negative. My goal, I don't give a flip about your goal. How could we design to blank, right? Because that ain't about you. It's about what you're doing for these people. But starting with my goal. I think everybody goes, dang, those are awesome. This is where it's bad. So flat rate should be bolded. Not so worried about that. Or you can just do um, like two statements. Unless these and unique make amazing custom covers for prosthetics that have a flat beginning rate at 15000 Sorry, 1500 $1,500 is out of the range of most prosthetic users. Don't care of a history lesson. That should be done here. And it's not so much like, great, you want to give them an accessible new canvas to express themselves. It's already being done. Your thing is making it it's still it's more accessible financially that has the same level of expression. Pull that down. That's the only thing you're really telling me here is there's an opportunity. Also, you might at some point have to justify the cost because a student you're kind of a think tank for a professor. I mean, just put how many hours the entire team put together and see, all right, if you were paying them, shoot, let's undercut $30 an hour as a designer, which is low. How many hours and how much money would it take to produce this thing? And this is just like mental power, not fabrication power. So check that cat. Eh, that feels forced. I'd rather have like gray all the way to the edge of the page. Who, how, and cost. I mean, I like what you've done with the logos, but it feels corny, it feels weird. I guess that one works. 
This is the Who. I like this. That's cool. Uh, how can we say that better? Design a solution for Blake based on his physical needs and personal style. Feels a little bit ro less robotic. Develop a methodology that could be used with other prosthetic wearers. Mm, that's also this is part of a car. Why is this here? Are you talking about tattoos? That makes sense. Is this the meeting of aesthetic and classic? All right. This is a lot of information on the page, right? It's like, tell me about prosthetic, and then say, yeah, if the snap fit allows two things, allows something like two part, we don't have to do in two part molding because I know you're gonna three print it. Um, how do you sketching Lead you to the quick fit. Explain the quick fit made on the next page. Cause this feels like a lot. Yeah, my suggestion, try it in three pages instead of two. If this is the same as you use, can be one, two, three, four. Just clears that up. Okay, makes sense. You talked about doing this earlier. Makes sense to come full circle. Cool, use three printing, no waste of material. Actually, you know, there's gonna be waste of material because there's support, but you know what I'm saying. Trick font sizes, like just print this page. Is it legible? Yes or no? It might need to be scaled up a little bit. If not, cool. Cover art, fine. Same issue with this guy, right? They look pretty good. Maybe I'm losing the detail in here. Maybe it's just fine. But this is an opportunity to come back and say, based on his interest, this is a success. So, white font, about right here. Might have to be knocked down instead of white, make it a little bit transparent. Where'd that wolf go though? You have it here, but then I don't see it nowhere else. I don't mind it here because you're just talking about form, but is it on this final one? Also, in my opinion, since there's already an existing service, we talked about it there. What is your cost? Range, give me range. Ah, this project. Spelling, command I. Installed, located. Is it 50%? I would say a minimum of 50%, but I don't know as information as good as you do. More cedar will be added. What worries me is three it is on a page. Cool. Could you try just give me an attempt? Go full page. Logo, logo, logo. Let's do 
Circle, America, circle, then information under it. See if it looks better. Mm. 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 We talked about this. Could we streamline some of this information? Once I saw there was two paragraphs, I'm like, uh uh. Right? I'm down with like looking at a sentence, but when you do sentences that are that big or three or four lines deep, I'm like, eh, he's not even really honing down. One battery is able to integrate 125 different systems. Streamline. Did you mean collaborative studio? Beyond the current market offerings. Well, the problem with that is you assume that I know the current market market offerings, and up here it just said, "Oh my gosh, there's so many product offerings." So, highlight, explore, um, untapped areas and DIY. I chose electromagnet because, okay, cool. Opportunity map, I get it. I'm worried about size. Also, instead of like just copy pasting this thing in, it's not that it's bad, you know, rule of thirds, big fan of it, but I'm not gonna read it. What do you want me to know about this cat? Motivators are good. I might do, you know, that block, get rid of this. Scoot it down, actually scoot this up. So information, image, 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 motivators underneath. Who are we stepping on now? Is we got a knife bag going on here? flip-flop right flat tire every second seconds there's flat tire maybe another way to do this is um, you can't show 220 million flat tires but a tire it makes more contextual sense than the America What if you had like a vertical stack, horizontal tire, vertical stack of tires, and then a moon? If you stacked a 220 million tires, you could reach the moon and back. Just something to give me a, a volume of how much that is, because right now that lives in a number. But if you can help describe it a little bit better, I think it'd be helpful. Prime is primary information, secondary information, which is good. I look at this and go, well, there's nothing else leading me. Like, like what is the second most important bit of information? If I'm just getting it from logos, cool. But maybe three of these gets a black bold and the rest of them have more of a gray bold. Is it way to make the pluses and minus a bit more prominent? Also making an assumption, um, try green, right? Green, green is good, red is bad. I could be wrong on that. I'm not gonna read any of this. I know it's a prototype. What did you learn by doing the prototype? Good. You need to reiterate that it's not efficient. Maybe you have your 
images horizontally, right? And then you're doing like a call out vertical line. I learned from this thing right here that it was inefficient or uh, uncomfortable. Good, like that page. Give this man a name, and his title should be smaller. Joseph Cornwallis, facilities manager. All right, Jenny, this is uh, you've had a, a long way to come on this thing. Let's see where you've gotten to. William, a lot of text, not going to read one word of it, but about William, challenge, okay, yeah, we can take his prosthetic off, it's difficult to stand in the shower, now who, what type of monster is going to get into a shower with shoes on, just a thought, too much, not going to read, still not going to read, you've got to give me information in short bits of uh, informational blast. I'm not going to read a paragraph. At least now I know why you're making a chair. For that, I'm very thankful. Alright, since you aren't doing any sketches, which I'm... Well, you didn't sketch it. Not, since you're not really doing any development, what are you trying to show off in this project? Kids stand next to a chair, which is really good for context. Good. Um, why is it important to show me assembly? I do not care about this. I'll get rid of that page. This is a fabrication process, not a learning process. Cool. Other than he's inside the shower. I, I know I, I don't really... It's it's a weird tactful line that you have to to balance between because in cartoon form he can be naked or wearing swim shorts and it still works here can't do the same thing at least it makes sense now. Also, why'd you make it flat pack? I mean, that's essentially what this is, is a, is a flat pack. Um, and like this part becomes very important because, well, why would you ever take this, the wheels off? And you do want to tell them that you've, you've coated this thing so it's uh, water durable. All right, it has gotten better, I understand it. A couple of areas of improvement. Um, you need a statement here. Maybe from Michael. Is that his name? William. William and Michael. Um, this allows me more, more independent. Um, have more control over my life. Something that this kid would say about this makes things easier. This makes me feel more like I'm growing up and I can take care of my own issues. I'm a big kid now. Cool. Okay, so curious, why are you using orange or red leaders and sometimes you're using gray? Is this a good thing? Is that what you're saying plus? This is a bad thing because it's a red line next to no aesthetic? Talked about that. Still thinking.
Yeah, I still play the same way, right? It, it does help that you're putting more explicit. Um, but I still need to read, you had to research the design community to get this information kind of hidden, right? And the tertiary information. I'd still change it up. Not loving this page. It, this page should be purely about form definition. And was this part of the competition? Because it really doesn't matter to it, right? Did you have to create these guys in order to be eligible? Because in terms of like rebuild a rebuild ability, you may never touch on that in terms of designing it or creating it. It's all about making this thing which is hyper functional, but also uh, like for you know, it is what it is. Um, it's aesthetic and functional, but other than here, you don't talk about it being mass manufacturable, repeatable, replicatable. I'm not really sure on that word. I'd still lighten these leaders up a little bit, right? 29 inches long. Probably means I have to read this to understand what's going on. Wolf silhouette, where'd they come from? Streamline that. So necessary, okay. What if you just dedicate your own page to that? So after the development, you show how it can be mass manufactured and repeatable. Then you refine it a little bit. Actually, that should go before how to do mass manufacturing, quote unquote, mass manufacturing, home DIY. All these wheels are right. Good. We talked about this. I never want to see that happen again. Nice. Only thing is, let's check the color scheme. Let's check what you did. Why the why the change? Can't help me figure out that little adjustment. Almost halfway done. And exhaust me. To create product that identify helpful for job sites and for DIY lovers. Mm, is there a different way to say that? Considering primary, secondary, tertiary. I don't know if that's good. Because I know we're going to be in a little bit. All right. If you own a job site, you don't have a garage door. If you're a DIY person, you might have a garage door. So, show me what the thing could be used for. Is it, does it have to be for both? You have to be very explicit because it's going to get weird if I don't. Right now, you're just talking about previous page, job site, DIY lovers, not really shown. This, because you're showing it, says, oh, we're working with garage door openers. Oh, and garage door openers. Okay, well, forget job site. We're working with garage door openers. Wait, we're bringing the job site back. So you see some of the issues that we're having? Talk about this in class. I'm going to skip it. I should talk about, all about this that afternoon that we discuss. I'm going to wait on their next version to give you more feedback. This one. All right, we need a little bit more design. Actually, I don't really care about the goal. This is the goal, right? So maybe kill that off. Our goal was to, my goal was to, or just create a product line and packaging system that is these three. Kill that off, let the focus be done here.
All right, looking at my rolling, I've got maybe 30 minutes left on this tonight. Let me set an alarm briefly. All right, back to it. So I see oop, this page. You want to make something that that is these things. Keep in mind, if this is the goal that you're setting, you want to reaffirm them at the very end. Accessible, customizable, convenient, convenient, customizable, accessible. But then you're adding other things. I mean, I like what's going on here, that you're visually explaining what your goal is. And you're giving me a little um, tertiary information. But three things, five things. So which one is it? I need some text, either you know, larger call out where I can read it or move it around that we can say, oh, this one has, it fit most of the criteria. It does this, this, and this. Also, another way to do this is uh, like we're doing in studio. Could you categorize these into different camps? Well, I'll explain it like using colors. So if you have an orange circle, a red square, when you're doing the concepts, if you have an orange circle, red square next to it, I can relate them back to what you're trying to go for. Um, you know, ideally, yeah, you're going after all these at the same time, but you're going to need them in varying quantities. To, so um, thematically developing these things and telling me like what type of research these came from helps. Or just a sentence saying, you know, this one has most of the qualities. So let me develop it out. Mm, okay, portable makes sense, I guess. So you prototype to learn what. Right, is there a level to give me another little bit of information if I want to go deeper? So, you have margins. You've shown that you've done it before. Hmm. So all this is portable diffuser, and then this is the poultice patch. Is there a way to like visually divide them? Because when I look at this, they all look like the same. Is there a way to segment this? And then we kind of introduce the herb grinder later. Kind of, eh, I feel weird about it. I don't object to it, I feel weird about it. I'm more worried about how do you show that this is a different thing. So insert a little extra bit of information all right, I think we're getting closer. Grip light. All right, I like this because it says, hey, these are important, but these three are the most important. Probably not going to read anything into that first line. Better. I like. Small detail, but you say your final ones are in green, but that one's not in green. Just for consistency, I'd like the green on it. Also, define a style. We haven't defined a style. How you're doing this. Other people are drawing lines up. I, I really don't care how you do it. Just be consistent. Maybe blow these guys up. They seem pretty important. Exploded view. Why you got so many layers in there? And what are you going to explain? I don't know. Pull it off to the side. Cool. Nice renderings. I want to go back to, do you ever tell me about the problems you're going to address? 
because you say, you know, these are my opportunities. And then later on, you show me this is how I, you know, look at them. This is how I fix the opportunities. Then it makes sense. But if you don't introduce, hey, this could be good for a hands free environment, working in small areas or doing small desk work. Like you, you need to set yourself up up here um, with opportunities to be successful that when you actually do it, we go, oh, yeah, he fulfilled what he went up to fill. I wonder if me and Jack talked about this one during class. I feel like we did. Yes, yes. Okay, we talked about this during class last time. We'll skip it. Am I crazy? Uh, Danny Tran. Like two submissions. I think you said they are the same. So if I think that's right, I'm going to leave it alone. You know, if you get two and then the same, kill one. Oh, Natalie, this project, it wears on my soul. Um, you see how much writing's on this? Makes me physically unstable. Look at how much writing it is. Additionally, are we working with spreads? Or just one-ups? I, I don't know. Never, ever show me the solution so early on because when I see them early on, I get to make the decision. Do I like the way this is going? And if the answer is kinda or no, I'm done. So I need you to say this information as briefly as possible with make some image accompanying, but not your file images. You see how that doesn't really feel like it just feels like it's thrown up there every single time. And now honestly, because it feels thrown up there, I might just get rid of it because I can understand what prototyping is. I can understand what sketches are. Now, why would you do sketching? Oh, two separate projects. So here, not with these, but say like our goal is to develop systemic designs. Well, I don't want to say for their name. Our goal is to develop two systems of design. One that's retail packaging, the other one is looking into untapped areas. So boom, retail ready. Makes sense. Ugh. I just can't. Like I would rather just, just come to my office sometime and let's talk this thing out about another way to do this. Oh, Benny. It's crazy, but spacing, make sure your spacing is even. It's slightly off, but it's off. Like spacing between the three elements. Other than that, that's a fine page. Cool. You tell me what you're going to focus on. You refined it into these areas. That guy's weird, though. I love this. That's very good. Grab and bag go. Check the sizing, right? 
I'm assuming, you know, if you print this out half, I'll be able to read it. Problem is, I can't really go full page. I really can't read it. So please, you know, print this half off. Check it. Like, mm, it can go a little bit bigger. Or no, it needs to be stay the same. But I can't make that judgment call right now. Also, in this information, what did you learn? What did you improve? How brag? How can you brag about that more? Like designing zones into a backpack. This is give it maybe an opportunity um, to talk about like what other bags do and why they fall short, and then what yours can do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put a lot of pressure on that accountant though. She don't come through. You're screwed. What's wrong with my computer? Maybe if I scroll down, it'll face itself. All right, cool. Okay. So kudos, I like what you did here, but think of this like actually turning through a portfolio page. On this last page, uh, does that work? I guess it does. I'm gonna finish telling you what I was gonna tell you. So you go through the entire portfolio, last page, you flip it to go to the next project. You could just have, you know, this page be white and then start this information all on the right side, so. Left is blank, but it feels okay because information is over here. This could also work too. Um, just felt like I needed to explain what I was thinking. Consider your audience. They know what this looks like. That could be Rhode Island, I'm just guessing. Is there another way to show that there's a connection? Uh, geographically, downside is they're on two sides of the world. It's almost like you have two worlds, little Alabama, it's distinct, a little airplane, and then you have the Pacific Ocean being in the middle. Uh, valid. I'm, I don't know if you're going to say our challenges because like this is more bold and if you're overcoming something together therefore you have challenges so for me the bottom's not really necessary to me it's taking up space that doesn't need to be taken up unless you do it every single time all right maintain no one cares nobody looks at those um oh. So, dang it, what I want is real pictures of real people. Because we have built empathy early on, and this gives me information, but doesn't build empathy. And then we get the massage benefits. And it's weird for like, all right, these are the problems, loneliness, struggles, mood, and frailness. We're gonna make a massager, or we're gonna make something that's more comfortable ergonomically. But you are talking about play. So there's a bit of a disconnect. You can't just introduce these right now. That's like a secondary benefit. First benefit is playing with kids. Second one is, you know, better ergonomics. <sighs> Pressure point release. Man, I hate that second page. Sorry, how I feel. Yeah, let's solve the emotional issue first and then come back and fulfill some of these guys. All right. By making that small, it says it's not important and it's bad. Because when you storyboard, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the story, right? Like, they're lonely, they want to play with their kids, but they aren't able to for a, uh, a myriad of reasons. If you show me that, then I believe you. Mind mapping...
Mind mapping, maybe. Group meetings, no. Incentive, interest, and simplicity. I don't know. I'm trying to understand here. Are you talking about as a group? You offered incentive and there's interest, but you weren't able to come up with something that simple? Um, show me how you blended ideas. Don't just tell me, which this is what it's doing. It's, it's telling me. I'd rather see all the sketches and say, hey, we missed an opportunity. All right, better. Better. How does it work? You show a spring base, but if there's these sequences you use, one, two, three, four, it kind of works like a teeter totter, works on balance, works on grip strength. Like you just put these by making these details, you're saying this isn't important. All right, if I was going to come back and do this page, all right, so your final design, this one, I would talk about the benefits, benefits, I would show these two. I just I hate these guys done in that way. I would talk about your considerations. Um, the next page, show me how it works, show it with the kids, then maybe mention some more benefits. I don't really care about remedy. And massage and handles is only like half. I would call it less than half. Because like, who cares if you're getting a massage and you hold onto the handles if it's still not funny, you'll enjoy doing it. So um, remember to come back to the real reason why you're doing this is to encourage play between seniors and kiddos all right let's move these together a bit more I'm quite discontent with your research. Just because it's like I open the book, I scan the page, here's the information. I think it'd be more impactful instead of showing this information, which really isn't yours and all designers know, we, we, we understand this. Could you show me multiple images of people sitting incorrectly in your chair? And say, how might we develop a chair that encourages healthy posture? I think you could say the same thing and be more interesting. Really don't care the center how they see pain 18, 18 inches. Facts. Facts don't really make we buy with emotion and justify with facts. Problem with sketch ideation is if you say like, all right, what's the problem? Well, these things don't encourage healthy posture. In your sketches, how can these things encourage healthy posture? Not so much details on materials. Also, like, this is a, a null point, right? Because you said earlier on, you know what? Being able to pull around a chair is also important to posture. No, you didn't say that. So it's kind of a thrown in detail. It, you could throw and say, hey, aesthetically, it doesn't work in my vision. Or even though it might fix the problem, people aren't going to buy it. But weight's not so much an issue. Also, if these are two different pages, what did you learn? What did you develop from page to page? Talk about this in our last talk. You've got to bring attention to the model, not the background. Got to get your white balance better. These two things, I, th I think it would make, ugh, man, that's a problem. They, I would like just the chairs and I would like them to feel like they're on the same page. But I think the perspective is so different that It'll maybe, maybe this is in the foreground and this guy's sitting, where's the camera height here? Camera height's here. Um, if this was small in the background where it felt like these two are on the same page, maybe. 
your leader also has to be more delicate. Your picture is pro priority one, information written priority two, and then your leader is number three. Right now, because of his boldness, it's uh, number two. Chair in use. Nah. Just so the photography makes me not want to see this page. You see how it's all washed out and desaturated? It needs to be in context, is what it needs to be. Let's see if we can figure out a reason. Yes. Why are DIY prop? Although the DOI products are made out of recyclables, not always. I'd rather say many people construct hydroponic gardens as a way to, I don't want to say be more eco-friendly. Many people create DIY gardens. I'm going to pause and think about this one. All right. Many people construct DIY gardens to be more something. I don't want to use the word earthy, but it's like earthy. Um, to be more environmentally friendly. Part of this approach is to reuse materials um, in a clever and sustainable way. Many of their problems are boom, boom, boom. We're for things to be bulky and fragile. Also, hold a line, man, hold a line. You see where it kind of dips here? Too many points. What if you had a circle and each circle? Well, it's a circle with like different portions and the logo's in the portion and then off side of the logo, you say it's affordable, conserves water. It just fills up the page. It's not really attractive. What's another way to in, introduce, in, in, uh, I'm getting tired. What's another way to introduce information um, that's visually more engaging but communicates the same amount of information? I thought we were working with DIYers, not famous chefs. So this is confusing. Do you think someone working at like in, let's say Atlanta, chic decor would use this? Because this is what you're kind of implying. Plus, people make them out of this because uh, there's very little money involved. Uh, this is a bit of a misleading image because product analysis, are we talking about personal reviews or market analysis? Which one? I call it market analysis. and show a graph, you know, size, expense, and then do call outs, blah, blah, blah. Amazon says this. Okay, modular is cool. Why make it modular? To me, this it's a page for no reason. Yes, it needs to be modular because your last one's modular, but you're exploring modularity for why. Modularity, here we are again.
I hate saying this word, but I'm saying it. there's a form and function relation to it. Um, so the form has this aesthetic nature, but the function means you don't have to buy all the units at once. I, just, I don't read this, you know? I don't care about the testing. We know that it already works. All right, cool. You prototyped. What'd you learn from the prototype? Hmm. You see, this is weird. Like, this is one to go to this, like a normal flow. Typically, you read down, so I got a two, three, one. Move this over here. Water pump. Move this guy over. Water pump here. Down to the right. Explain water pump. Number two. Um, water splits. Number three. Maybe that's a better way to look at it. But right now, it's, just, it's has a funky visual flow. Units problem with the renders is it doesn't feel real, you know. Also, that super thick wood you wouldn't use it that much thickness. Also, there's no way to join these things together, as I see from your exploded view. Do you? Text just get bigger. Why? Why do your the units get gigantic? The system maintain consistent consistency. I right, come back, and then this gets big. Where earlier it's been not so big. Why did you choose to leave some of these things out and make them additions instead of with the starter pack? Man, I feel like I need even better feedback when I'm struggling to do that. I don't think we need more pages. All right, give me a second. All right, let me see if I can communicate a couple of things. All right, I thought I was good up to that point. Got a little crazy. Uh, different way to do product analysis. Show me what's going on in the market. Why your recipes appear? Actually, the, the scalability is different for most of these. These are what appear to be like at home, and you're talking for a restaurant. At least that's what you led me to believe. I'm gonna leave that guy out. Cool with that. Modularity, benefits that you gain from modularity. Testing, no. Prototype, yes, but what did you learn from the prototype? Water flow, I think, is essential because without it, it doesn't work. Units, don't really care for much of it at all. The system. I don't know if they see a sequence of use, right? So you order this thing, you assemble it, you put it on the wall, you install your, your vegetables at the very end. It's wonderful. You get it out, your customers have these fresh, locally on-site grown things. I'm not going to read a word of that. I'll agree farm table movement. Okay. I believe that's all I can do tonight.